Hey, <laughs> what's up guys? It's me, Laura Burns. Welcome back to my channel. If you are here for the first time, <laughs> extra enthusiastic jazz hands, um, welcome to this Trunk Club video. So, um, it is November. Can you believe? <laughs> I'm having a hard time. I realize that Thanksgiving is two weeks away and that is freaking me out hard. Um, and today I'm pointing towards the window that you can't see. The weather is actually feeling kind of fall-like here in Houston, which is a nice bonus because the past few days it was in the upper 80s. Upper 80s. It was awful. And super humid. It was terrible and I was super grumpy. <laughs> um, but today it is cool. It's raining. It feels very fall-like. So I'm pumped to get into this big ass box of clothes that I have from Trunk Club. They had to send it in a regular shipping box, not in a trunk because it was too big and bulky because I had two pairs of shoes and this really fluffy jacket. Um, so yeah, y'all know Trunk Club moves fast. I'm not going to do a lot of intro. We're just going to get into it. Um, so let's go. Oh, hey. Just hanging around here in this gigantic puffy bomber jacket. <laughs> so this is from BP, which makes sense because it's like very trendy looking, um, kind of a like a younger style. This is reversible. So I'm showing you my second favorite side, which is this. I'll come up close like satiny material. It's kind of a plum, deep plum, almost chocolatey, but like definitely a plum, I think. Yeah, for sure. When the light hits it, you can see it. It's got these um, tan knitted cuffs, has this fur collar when it's on this side. So this does zip up for me. I did have this zipped up. I have to admit, I threw this on. I don't always like pre-try things on. I did throw this on though, because I was like, oh my God, look at this jacket. So um, it does zip. However, it's supposed to be longer um, and it's kind of bunched up in here in the back, but not too crazy. Like I would still wear this. Um, I think it looks okay. But just know that like, if you're like me and you have more weight here in your belly and in your hips, then it's not gonna go down <laughs> over your hips where it's supposed to be. So I'll show you. Oh, I'm getting hot. Where's the thing? Oh, um, okay. So let's switch the sides. If you're not familiar with Trunk Club, it's like all these clothes subscription. Oh my gosh, the cool air feels so good. Um, <laughs> it's like any of these subscription boxes. You pay a styling fee. They send you stuff. But Trunk Club, you get the chance to veto. This is my preferred side because I just feel like a teddy bear. <laughs> So here you can see the length where it wants to be. When I zip it, it has to be above my butt. So it's not that big of a deal. And y'all know, or maybe you know, I'm not a big jacket zipper in general. I like air coming in. I'm hot natured. If I'm like in a snowstorm, <laughs> maybe I'll zip it up. But I'm just gonna look here. You can see from the side. I mean, it's a big, furry, puffy thing. You're not getting any shape here or whatever. That's not the point. You can zip it up all the way here under the chin if you have more of a chin than me. <laughs> anyway, um, it's super cute. Do I need this warm ass jacket? No, not at all. Uh, I could have used it on my vacation actually because it was so freaking cold there. But um, yeah, I don't need this. It's great. I encourage you to buy it. I love it. I just like want to touch my body. <laughs> I just want to touch this coat. It's so cute. I'm a little teddy bear. It's really what it looks like. I'll show you. Oh, it's so soft. It feels like one of those really great blankets for the couch. Okay, getting hot. This next thing is this really nice denim shirt from Caslon. Has double buttons at the cuffs. It's a really lightweight denim, which is nice. Um, almost feels like chambray, but it's just a really light denim. 
has buttons all the way down. The quality is really good. It's the usual thing. So I could technically button this, but then when I sat down I'd be popping buttons everywhere because this kind of shirt is just not made for my kind of body. Um, because I'm larger here, it fits here great, but um, if I wanted to ever sit down, <laughs> I could not wear this shirt. Or I would always have to wear it open if you're a person that likes to wear like the open loose shirt. This is not really my jam, but I know a lot of people like to wear this, so it would be a great one for that. I wish that I liked that style because then I could wear all these cute shirts that I'm always getting, but it just doesn't work. Um, or I could wear it, you know, like tied, which, listen, is a cute look. Like, I'm not anti this look, but I don't want to have a shirt that I can only ever wear like this. As cute as it is, oh my god, if you put some cowboy boots on with this, like in this dress and this shirt, <laughs> can you tell I'm from Texas? <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, so if you like this kind of shirt, this is a great version. The sleeves are, of course, long on me, what's new, but you can easily roll these up. The material just feels really nice and the construction is great. Um, the buttons are on a fabric tape, not just on the material, does that make sense? It means that they're gonna hold up over the long term. Do you see that? I find that um, whenever I have shirts like this that they just wear longer uh, because it's just tougher. So this is a great shirt. I like it. I would totally keep it if it were just a little bit larger. Like I need to order like a 5X and a 4X, <laughs> like that. Um, sometimes even a 3X. And this a 4X is great. Like it fits so nicely, but <sighs> that's life. That's how these shirts always fit. And just a reminder that if you are like me and you have the same problem with the shirts, I did find like a miracle shirt in Torrid that is a plaid button down. Unfortunately, it's not flannel. It would be even better if it were, but it's, um, I don't know, some kind of a woven material. But it, um, so it's a button down and it fits like this. And then here at the waist, it flares out um, so that it actually accommodates larger situation here. I think they call it like a peplum camp shirt. I'm telling everyone about it because it has, I mean, it is like a miracle shirt. It's like really solved that problem for me. So now I own one button down shirt that I can wear. Um, one. We have a couple dresses. <laughs> Y'all know I love dresses. So this is a kind of fall winter floral. Let me get you a close up. It feels very 90s to me, which is great. It even has um, this like, oh my god, can you see this? Like a buckle slider thing, can you see? I'm tracing the outline of it. Um, <laughs> which is like totally those things like you used to tie your t-shirts up with. Um, so it's non-stretch surplus neckline and it's a little interesting. Let me show you it's a faux wrap, but like in a weird way, but I am into it. So you have the body of the dress here, which on me fits a little tightly. I don't think it's supposed to be this bodycon, but um, you know, whatever, my sizing, I've just talked about this. Anyway, but it's not uncomfortable. It just like is like, hello. But if you don't like that, you just pull this little skirt across and then you can adjust it with that buckly slider thing. Look, here's the real T. How hard is it to do this? There's pressure because you're watching. Oh, it's not hard at all. Got it. So then you pull this as tight or as loose as you want it across the front. Also, you could never undo that buckle, and I got this dress on without undoing it. I was just showing you. <laughs> so then you have this flap. It's hard to see because it's the same material, but you have this flap that comes down and kind of gives you a little bit of ease through the front, a little bit of movement. I'm going to tighten this. There we go. And then you just have the little tie. So here's from the side. You can see on me, like, hello, my, here's my butt because this fits a little tighter. If you are less apple <laughs> than me, uh, or if you have less of a butt, then you know it won't be as tight. Here's from the back. 
and the side. I'm gonna look in the mirror. I mean, I really like the way that this looks on me. I like it <clears throat> without the flap. I like it with the flap. I'm into it. Um, it does feel very 90s to me. It makes me want to like put on a choker and some like chunky ankle boots. Uh, yeah, it's cute. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to fit very differently on different bodies, I realize. So this is what it looks like on my body. Maybe that's similar to yours or maybe it's completely opposite, but at least you can get kind of an idea. So yeah, I think it's very forgiving. Actually, if you are concerned about having that like VBO or something and you are shaped like me, this front flap just like, psh, it's gone. So if you don't like that, here's like a nice way to kind of cover that up and still wear this. And so you get a little bit of like, hey, but then like also don't worry about the VBO situation. Okay. Uh, I like that it's long sleeve, but loose and the material is pretty thin because I get hot arms. Um, so you get some coverage for the season, but also I'm not going to die of heat. This um, surplus neckline is nice. Sometimes it's like, you know, they gape open and I have to put a stitch in it, but this one is sitting nicely without me doing anything. So yeah, I'm really a fan of this. This is from the, I don't know if I said it, from Leith, like Keith, but with an L and a size 4X. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this material, that's so fun. Um, I forgot to tell you that I had asked for, I'm gonna pull these up, I'm getting hot. Um, I asked for like fall, winter, and holiday because it's November, holiday parties are gonna start soon. Look at this, <laughs> it's so shiny. Here's a close up of this beautiful, the color's not coming across, it looks like maybe. Oh, here's a little better. Like a burgundy, metallic, disco, whatever. <laughs> so, um, I like this dress. I don't love it. Like, from what you can see right now, I love. Love, love, love. Would want to keep. However, it gets a little weird down here. So, let's look at it. There's a short overdress. Now, my bike shorts are sticking out because... They're too long. This is a short dress. Number one, I always wear bike shorts, so it's kind of a problem that they're like sticking out and it's not cute. Sometimes my bike shorts stick out and it's cute. <laughs> I'm good with it. So this one, I would really have to not wear bike shorts, which is annoying to me because my thighs rub together and it's very distracting and uncomfortable to me. Um, now, if you are a person that doesn't constantly wear some kind of shorts or something, then <laughs> you'll be fine. Um, if I wore this with tights, I could do it. I just realized as I said that because I don't wear bike shorts if I wear tights. So, okay, I could wear this with tights. I like short things. I just don't like thighs. Okay, so then this piece comes down and stops here. This piece comes around. It overlaps a little, but it's designed, to me, it's designed to look like a wrap dress that is gaping open <laughs> because it doesn't seem like intentional enough like look if this were like this and it was like a big section was out that would make sense but it's like a small I don't know I just don't like the way that that looks which is a shame because the in theory I like this I like you know the wrap and then the surprise of like ooh, there's an underskirt um, <laughs> here's from the side I'm just gonna look from the front yeah I don't know from the back. So maybe this would look better on you. <laughs> I don't know. I want to like this a lot. I just don't love it. Um, it's the first thing in the box that I'm like, me. Um, I love the material. I like the top portion. If this were just like a solid skirt, I would probably keep this. If this were like a more intentional opening, I would probably keep this. It's just this like, in between. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Stop right now. Tell me in the comments before you even watch the rest of this video. What do you think of this? Do you agree with me that it's kind of like this weird in the middle? Or are you like, no, it makes sense. It looks great. Or like, no, you hate it. <laughs> Tell me what you think. I want to know. This dress is so much fun. Um, this material is great. I love it. So the sleeves are actually long, but I have them pulled up because I'm hot. 
But there, there's what the sleeves. It's like a lot of coverage. Oh my god, it's so fun. La, 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 la. Yes, I wish I, I wish I loved it. Sad. Hi. So next up, I have these pants that are a little too small for me. They go on my body. They're not busting off, but they're tighter than they should be. And when I sit down, it's like, no, thank you. So these are um, some like fancy joggers from Caslon in a size 4X. There's this pretty blue color. Um, they're kind of low. Like for me, this is a pretty low rise. Um, they have a pretty, you know, what is this? It's not ribbon. It's the same material as the pants. Anyway, they have a pretty tie here. It does have an elastic waist, which I'm maxing out for sure. Um, it has pockets. Here's from the side. You can see they're too tight. Like they're fine in the leg. It's just around here. I definitely would need the next size, which I don't think that they make. <sighs> I like the idea of these. It's like fancy pajamas which is my personal aesthetic, fancy pajamas. Um, so I really like these, but also they don't fit. So I'm bummed because I totally would have kept these. Um, but maybe they would fit you. If you're not so apple-y, maybe the 4X would fit you, or if you're a smaller size, they definitely will. You could size up if you needed to, or just get your regular size. I would say that these are probably true to size because they don't stretch. Um, and that's like how I am like so on bottom I'm a 28 slash 30 30 when it doesn't stretch so in this I would be that 30 um, yeah so they have elastic at the bottoms I mean they're joggers they're just not made out of like sweatshirt material like they usually are but they're really nice they're really well made the fabric feels so good like really nice quality fabric um, I'm gonna throw on a shirt with this all right, so this is a ivory waffle knit, super lightweight sweater. It's kind of got a fake layering thing going on. So here at the bottom, there's a layer of like a uh, white jersey. So it looks like you have like multiple shirts on. I love this. This is from Dontel in a size 4X. And I've purchased from Dontel before. They make those waterfall cardigans that I love so much and have multiple colors of. So it's just like a loose fitting, nice layer it's got a high low hem let me just look in the mirror yeah it's definitely sheer which i'm okay with but i know not everybody is um it's loose fitting it has these seams here kind of for interest uh here's the texture nice waffle knit yeah it's nice i don't know how much they want for it if it's not too crazy, I might get it because I don't own white, which is a common sense decision because I always spill everything. So that actually makes me not want to get it. But I think it's very pretty. I think this would look great with jeans. I think it looks good with these joggers, actually. Um, it kind of also camouflages the part that doesn't fit. <laughs> so I look like a normal person now. Um, yeah, it's really soft. Nice and light would be great for layering. Um, yeah, score. Back on the board, I like it. Okay. <laughs> Here's the next item. It is this sparkly bodysuit from Leith. Now it has um, this knot down here. So I'm trying it on with jeans because that was the styling suggestion. It has this like kind of fabric twist here, which my high-waisted jeans like are almost covering up, but not. So it's very low. I've kept my bra on because this is not a look that I'm into, but like it would be, you know, low. I'm going to put it how I would wear it. Hold on, okay. So I just put a little safety pin here. I would probably just sew straight up this edge. Um, and now it becomes something I'm more comfortable. I'm just gonna come forward a little so you can see. Here's the detailing. Um, the fit on this is actually really good. <laughs> the sleeves aren't too long. So it is a bodysuit and it's not like riding up like a lot of them do. I don't usually love bodysuits. Number one, because they pull up. I have a long torso, so like even with um, one-piece swimsuits, I have to buy long torso. So I was 
dubious about how this was going to work out. But I think that um, it fits really well. My other complaint about bodysuits is that it's just a pain in the ass to go to the bathroom. It's like when you wear um, a jumpsuit or anything that's one piece, you got to get like naked to go to the bathroom. And I know that you can unsnap the crotch, but like, listen, my arms are not long enough to like easily get down there and unsnap it and then snap it back. And it becomes a whole production. And then I'm sweating and I'm in public and I'm in a public bathroom and I'm like trying to snap my crotch. It's like a whole situation. So when I have worn bodysuits in the past, I just take the whole thing off. So that's what that's where I'm coming from with this. Um, I think it looks great. I think it does look good with jeans. Um, I don't currently own any bodysuits, but um, I'm a little tempted. This is a great like holiday. Can you see the sparkles? Let me come close so you can see. My cat's making a weird noise in the other room. <laughs> it's so sparkly. I love sparkly things. So yeah, what do you think? This is like pretty outside my comfort zone, but I don't know, I think I'm into it. I think it fits nicely. It's not like too small or anything. It's sparkly, but it's not like crazy, you know? I'm not like a super outlandish kind of dresser, so. Um, I don't know. I'm not used to calling a lot of attention, wearing super sparkly things, wearing plunging things. Like, just not, it's not my jam. Um, I kind of like this detail. I just wish it was higher. I wish all of this was just moved up so that, like, this thing was, like, right here and this is the actual neckline of it. That's what I wish, I think. <sighs> Pleasantly surprised by this bodysuit and how sparkly it is and how well it fits. So what do you think? Tell me in the comments. I'm really curious about this because this is very outside of my comfort zone. But I'm feeling, I mean, I feel good in it. I feel like, hey. Um, I'm just thinking through like the logistics of actually wearing a bodysuit and like going to the bathroom as many times as I do. Ugh. Yeah, it's like unappealing to me. <laughs> okay, cute and fun. There's more. Hello. <laughs> so this is the last like kind of holiday look, which is this um, sheer white with gold fringy. This is a crazy explanation. Let me just show you. Can you see the texture? Yeah. It's very cool. Very pretty crop top. It's non-stretch. I wish that I had some stretch at least here because it's like it fits me but just barely. Um, luckily it hits me where when I sit down this size doesn't really change. It's like everything below that changes. <coughs> so I think it's actually okay. I did sit down in it. Um, it's very cute. I think maybe I would wear this like under my overalls. It's like a lot for me to wear something this short. Um, although depending on what I wore with it, it might be okay, but like I wouldn't wear it like just with the jeans like this just because, uh, I don't know, I feel uncomfortable. It's like a lot. And I also feel like very kind of like not stretchy <laughs> when I mean I feel like held in. I'm much more of like a stretchy pants, stretchy top kind of gal. Um, if I don't sit down, then this is very comfortable actually. But I know when I sit down, it's like, this is going to expand, and I think I'm just going to feel really constricted um, if I were to wear this for any, you know, amount of time, like going out or something. So if I'm just going to stand up, <laughs> I think it's great, and I really like it, and I would wear it this outfit. But if I had to sit down, no. If I had to sit down, I would pair this with a stretchy, waisted, like, skater skirt or something like that. Um, and then I think it would be a great outfit. So actually, that's a really good idea. I'm like talking myself through it while I talk you through it. But yeah, so here it is. It does have a zipper to help you get in and out, which is nice. It's a very simple cut, actually. Um, it's a super fun party top. And now I wish I had grabbed a skater skirt to try it on with so I could show you that. Although I don't know if I own like the perfect skater skirt for this. I used to and I sold it and now I'm kind of kicking myself. Um, it was a burgundy velvet skater skirt. It would have been so good but still works with jeans doo, doo, doo. if I stayed the same size 
when I sat down, this would be a better outfit for me, I think. But I need to have either like stretchy top or stretchy bottom. I don't think I can do like both non-stretchy. I don't think that's going to work for me. Um, but very cute. I like it. I'm probably not going to keep this though. I mean, listen to how many excuses I just came up with for like reasons not to wear it. It's very pretty though. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. Maybe this is better for someone else, but I'd love it. Oh my gosh. I need an event where I'm only standing up. And then I would totally rock this. Okay, one more. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is a little more my speed. A soft, cozy, stretchy sweater with jeans. <laughs> this is from BP. I'm in love. Oh my God, I gotta have it. Flipping out. Why is BP stuff like the greatest, cutest stuff ever? Um, it's a good length for me where it's hitting, it's not too long. It's like almost kind of cropped, but not quite. I love it. It's this olive green plaid with black and white. It's fuzzy. I'm just gonna rub my belly for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing more to say. It's a great, awesome sweater from BB. And I like it a lot. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I have two pairs of shoes to show you. These are the first ones. So these are gray. I think they're, they're leather. They're from Naturalizer. So they have lacing in the front, but then a zip kind of up the side. So it makes them more like little ankle booties. I like them. I don't love them. They're very comfortable and they fit my feet, which honestly <laughs> is kind of a big deal because I have really difficult feet to fit. Um, I have really wide feet. I have really high insteps and I have high arches. So it's kind of a lot. <laughs> it makes finding shoes that are cute difficult. So I wear a lot of shoes that are maybe less cute, but I like these. I'm actually kind of into them. I don't know if I wish they were black or brown or if I'm just like having trouble like thinking what gray shoes really go with or maybe gray shoes go with everything. What do you think? And the second pair of shoes. These are from Hush Puppies. Now, these are waterproof ankle boots. Listen though, they're very squeaky. <laughs> I'm sure that would stop after a little bit. <laughs> squeak, squeak. So at the front, they're leather. At the back, they're suede. They have some little crisscross leather details. I hope you can see all that. And a zip on the inside. Now, I do already own a pair of black suede booties. Um, however, these are waterproof, which kind of makes me want to get them because I sometimes don't wear those other booties when it's raining because I don't want to get them messed up. So the idea of having some that are kind of made to go out in the rain is appealing. Although with this back section being suede, it's kind of like my other ones. Like, I don't want to get them messed up. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's look at the prices. I'm back with the prices. All right. The sh ch 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 where are we starting? Uh, castle on shirt. Button down, 59. The long sleeve leaf uh, weird wrap dress, 69. BP plaid sweater, 49. The reversible fleece bomber jacket, 79. Sparkle bodysuit, 59. Uh, shirt v-neck. Oh, the white with gold sparkly top, 65. Castle on soft track pants, 69. The uh, metallic 
burgundy dress, 59. The doo -doo -doo, naturalizer sneaker, gray nubuck leather, 99.95. The Dantel white top, 49. And the water resistant booty from Hush Puppies, 107.99. Hmm. You know what? I like all of this, and this is really hard. <laughs> okay, there's some things that just didn't work. The chambray shirt didn't fit. I didn't love the maroon metallic dress. The bomber jacket's too hot. That white crop top is just not me. I don't love the gray sneaker from Naturalizer. I might look and see if they have other colors. So I think it comes down to the things that I really want to keep are the plaid sweater from BP and the white uh, thermal top. Um, and you know what? Let me be real about how much I drop food on myself. I'm not keeping that white top. <laughs> it's good in theory, but it'll be awful in real life. So I'm just going to keep that uh, plaid sweater from BP. All right, my battery is telling me I'm out of time. So I'm going to wrap this up really quick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate y'all. I love the community that we're building. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.